what's up everyone welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to be talking about some cool ios 13 tweaks some of these have been out for a while they've just been updated for ios 13 and some are pretty new so without further ado let's get into the video all right so first up we got status viz and what status viz does is that it gives you a small visualizer up in your status bar on the top left corner so if we go up here into our music and we play a song you can see that on your top left a small visualizer shows up and you could change the sensitivity of this uh, if you want the bars to go up higher or you, you don't want them to move at all then you could mess with the settings on that so if we go into our tweaks go to status viz and right here you can change the sensitivity so if i put it higher up you can see that the bars start going crazy and if you don't like that if you just want it like something simple i have it set to 9 9.6 then they, they still move a lot, but not as much as if you have the sensitivity up higher. Um, if you don't want them to move at all, then you can just put it all the way down and it doesn't move that much. It looks cool either way. It's up to you. All right, up next, we have another visualizer tweak, and this tweak is called Mitsuha Forever. It has been out for a while before I believe it was called Mitsuha Infinity, and it has been updated for iOS 13. So if we go into our music here, you can see a little waves up on top of the progress bar right here for the music and it not only works in apple music it also works in spotify and i believe they're working on a update for soundcloud and you could also have this visualizer on your lock screen so if we go ahead and lock our screen here you can see that it's working on the music player on the lock screen as well so yeah that's mitsuha forever all right so next up we have a tweak called floaty tab and i believe this tweak is relatively new and what this tweak does is that if you go into some of your apps, for example, the phone app, you can see your tab here at the bottom it has this floating look to it, which is really cool. Um, it doesn't work in every single app, but right now the list is being updated. So it works on the phone app. It works on Cydia. Uh, once you get the tweak, you can see what apps it's compatible with. But yeah, it gives you this really cool animation down here at the bottom. If we go into our settings, into floaty tab, you can see the list of tweaks that it's compatible with. So all these right here, it's, it is a good amount, but they're going to be adding more in the future. And that's floaty tab. All right. So up next we have a tweak called dots too. And as you can see here, it gives you these dots for your notifications. Every time you do get a notification for an application, which looks really cool. Um, I use tiny banners too, just so I could get some notifications to show you guys. It doesn't have too many options to configure. So if we go here into our settings and we go to dots too, um, you could use your default icons instead of dots. If you want to have always on mode enabled, you could do that. I have that on right now just for the video. Tap to wake, uh, the dot size, you can make them bigger, smaller, or the pulse size around the dot, you can make that bigger, smaller too. So dots too isn't compatible with accent. For those of you that use accent, I'm sorry about that. Maybe there will be an update in the future that makes it compatible, but as of now, it's not compatible with Axon. All right, so last but not least, we have a tweak called Badge Bar, and I know many others have mentioned this tweak before, but it's currently one of my favorite tweaks. And what this tweak does, as you can see here, is it gives you this little bar at the bottom of your application whenever you have a notification for that. So instead of giving you your badges, you have a bar, which looks really clean. Uh, what I like most about it is Instead of showing the number of emails that I have, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you have like thousands of unopened emails, it just gives you this bar at the bottom. That's one of my favorite things about this tweak. And if we go into our settings, it does have a lot of configurations. So we go to badge bar here. Um, you can hide the labels, hide update and beta dots. Use static badge colors. So like if you just want all your badges to be red, you can do that. Dynamic badge colors, which is what I have right now. White badge bar border. Hide folder badges, and then you have a uh, first app, first app with badge, and app with most badges. If you want that, badges as bar, and you have your option to configure like the location of the badge if you want it like above the application, below, or whatever. And yeah, you have the option to configure the bar itself, like the height, width, radius, and yeah, it comes packed with many options, and it's a really cool tweak. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for future content. I really do enjoy making these videos like the tweak videos and the setup videos. And eventually I do plan on doing like setup battles. So for example, um, 
once I get enough people interested in the future, uh, they could submit their setups and I'll preview them in the video. And the setups with the most votes or like the top three setups, they'll win like a cash prize or a gift card or something which I can offer to them. So yeah, make sure to stay tuned for that and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>